Greetings from Glassboro in southern New Jersey. It's July 27, 2022. And uh, this is my Norway maple. I'm one of three of them on my property. And that white band around the trunk is my latest attempt at controlling the spotted lantern flies. Okay, so I'm sure most people are familiar with the spotted lantern flies by now, and you've heard all the stories about them. Well, they're here in southern New Jersey. They've been for a couple of years now, or more, but uh, they're very prevalent now. And uh, looking up my tree, I don't see too many. I don't see any, really. Amazing. Quite a, quite a difference from last year this time where they were, I wouldn't say they covered my tree, but they were, they were quite prevalent. And I was going after them with a, with a little handheld shop vacuum cleaner and believe it or not, actually put a piece of plastic PVC conduit on the end of the nozzle to get the ones that were higher. And it was working pretty good, but very labor intensive. So I thought, okay, I gotta, my time's valuable. I gotta come up with another strategy. So I decided to go with putting together some kind of a circle trap or a band trap, whatever they call them, I don't know. I, I know everybody's familiar with the screen traps that people put around trees. To me, they look like so junky, and they just look like they really take a lot of time. And um, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. But anyhow, this is working really well, and I'm going to show you how well it's working. So I started out first by getting this really magnificent fly tape. It, came, it comes in like a 40-foot roll by 10 inches wide. I got it at Tractor Supply, very affordable, under $10. And let me tell you something, this stuff is sticky. So I had it sticky side out first, all the way around the tree, stuffed this fiber fill material in behind it so the lantern flies can't, you know, bypass the tape and get, get through it. And... That worked really well. Uh, what I also did was I, I made a screen or a, um, a guard, if you would, put this together to cover the tape because I don't want birds or anything getting stuck on it. And that worked really well too. Okay, so, so now let's go over some of the points of this thing that I made here. So first off, there's the tape. Okay, I'm going to peel it back just to show you how well it's working. Look at this. Just take a look at that. I'm getting these things. Look at all them landing flies. Okay, and the beauty of this is, is when the tape gets loaded up, you just peel it off, throw it away, and put another strip around a tree. Very easy. One person can do this. All right, so how I attached this, um, this channel I made was I used stainless steel nails, finishing nails. And I, I had to doctor the nail length because I didn't want to really go nailing all th into my tree. Even though it's stainless steel, it probably won't hurt the tree, I'm, I'm sure. But I, I wanted to just catch the bark. Plus, I don't really want to feel like having to... I don't, I don't want to have to, like, butcher everything by trying to get these nails out once I take it all down during the winter. So, um, anyhow... Uh, as you can see also, again, to point out, I, I'm using this fiber fill, and that, that sort of uh, fills in the gaps, if you would, and it's working really nicely. So what we're going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a peek underneath and show you how well this is working. So here we are. We're going to go underneath and look at that. Look at all those lantern flies that I've been catching with this tape. I'm not doing it. The tape is doing it. Well, they're doing it themselves, but look at this. Right now there's a little, there's some gaps here I have to fix, but I'm getting these things. I am really getting them. And uh, this is like all the way around the whole tree. Look, there's an adult right there getting ready to, he's approaching it. There's a nymph. So they're, they're, they're alive and well, these things, but my tape is really doing the job. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show you how I made my, um, my channel and the products that I use to make this.
So here we are inside my garage and I'm just going to show you the components or the products that I use to make my trap. And here is the channel. Here's the channel basically. This is a piece of remnant. I made it a little bit longer than I needed so I wasn't coming up short. But it was, uh, it was pretty easy to make. Just to take a little time. It started off as this thin trim coil which I was uh, using to uh, cover the fascias on my garage. This is some scrap left over. I wasn't just going to throw it away because I have 10 foot lengths of it and I figured I'd use it for something some, somewhere along the line and sure enough here we are. So, so here's what we have. Notice I didn't, I didn't bend the legs at 90 degrees. I wanted it to have a little spread there to be stable. Okay, but it's still flexible enough to conform to the tree because the tree trunk's kind of irregular. These holes are a little bit big, so what I did was to attach the channel to the tree, I used these stainless steel finishing nails, ring shank. They were a bit too long, and I didn't want to drive them real deep into the tree because the fact that they got these rings on them makes these things really tenacious and they're very hard to remove. So um, I'm probably only biting into the bark maybe a half an inch, so I, I clipped them off. I had to go around and do each one, but it was time well spent. And I, the holes I drilled were much smaller. They were just enough for this to pass through, so the nails hold them in place. And um, what else? Well, I realize that not everybody has a siding brake like I do. I'm not bragging or anything like that. I'm fortunate to have it. But um, if you go on the internet, go on um, YouTube, just look up bending sheet metal without a break or something like that. You know, I don't. You know, there's there's enough people on there who can guide you through how you can do that without you know having to possess fancy tools or anything like that. I mean, I've, I've done it in the past um, with a couple pieces of wood. You can you can do it. Uh, anyhow. So here's the, here's the channel. Now let's go over here and I'm going to show you the other products I used. This is that cotton looking fiber that I used. It's polyfill or fiber fill, some people call it, I guess. I don't know. Um, used for stuffing pillows and stuffed toys, stuffed animals, that sort of thing. Pretty harmless stuff. They're pretty innocuous, right? And it, it stops the lantern flies from getting through any chink in the armor. Something I found really interesting is that they don't like to get on this stuff for some reason. But anyhow, that's that. Here's the tape that I used. Uh, found this at Tractor Supply. It uh, was in stock. Under $10. A 40 foot roll. 10 inches wide. I didn't need 10 inches so I decided to cut it in half for starts. And that's uh, where I started, where I wrapped it around a tree, and it worked well. But then I got this revelation for the um, circle trap using the channel and decided to have the sticky side facing in. And I figured if I made it um, more narrow, there was less chance of this stuff contacting the bark and them climbing over it and stuff. So I tried it with a more narrow width. And it worked really well. And, ha and let me show you something, how I cut this stuff. So it's very sticky. So what I did was I, I clamped a utility knife blade to some wood blocks to establish the proper height that I needed that's equal to the width I wanted to cut it, uh, the tape to. So basically, you just take your tape, hold it down against the table. It doesn't have to be the table like this. This is a steel table and uh, just rotate it around and just just push it in there gently and let the blade do its cutting uh, and be careful that's a very sharp razor right there so that's how i did that okay so i showed you the products i used and i've showed you how well the trap works and hopefully um, you know you could make something like this yourself well i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it uh, inspired you somehow 
maybe gave you a little bit of thought on how you might do this yourself. And uh, you can do it. There's no reason why you can't. So get out there and do your part and stop these lantern flies. I mean, control them. I don't think we're going to ever stop them, but, you know, control them, even if it's on your property. At least you're protecting your, you know, your, your, your plants, you know, trees, whatever. Alrighty, you take care and uh, keep fighting the good fight.